Welcome to the landscaping series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be doing some bat wing mowing with a Kubota compact tractor and a Rhino mower. We'll be heading over to the shop in our old 1970 Ford F-250 pickup. Today we will be using the 2006 Chevy 2500 regular cab along with the Big Tex trailer to help transport the tractor and the mower over to the property. And we are going to be mowing a commercial property. The grass is just over a foot and a half tall and we mow this property once a month. I'm excited to be back here behind the wheel of this old Ford. I really do like this body style a lot. We did fully restore it and do a few modifications. And it's a great truck to kind of drive a few times a week over to the shop. I'm excited to be back here mowing with the landscaping series. We've been averaging just around one to two mowing videos a week here along with a few other jobs with the landscaping series which is great. We've combined lawn care and landscaping into one shop, one company and we dedicate a few days a week to the mowing aspect of the business and then the rest are for uh, the other big jobs which are very nice. We'll be using this trailer here, it's a very long setup with the mower and the tractor attached and we'll have to back it on as well uh, to help with the 10% weight on the tongue of the, the trailer and for the truck. I really do like the look here of this body style as well. It's a great body style and being a regular cab work truck is one awesome truck. It's a shorter wheelbase and we do get the 8 foot bed as well. I'm currently looking into the problem here of the lag spikes. It looks to be every uh, few moments there is a little bit of lag and I believe it's something to do here with the save game or also one of the mods I've recently added because this has recently started as well so hopefully I could get that worked out to increase uh, the quality here of the video. Uh, none of the other save games for me do have this problem. I've recently reworked the Kubota tractor here and it looks quite a bit better along with it has a quite a little bit more features and the scaling is a bit better. It was a bit overscaled I will have to say. It's scaled down quite a bit and we do have a first person view which is also helpful. Now this mower here is a pretty big mower. This tractor just reaches the minimum horsepower required here for it and we'll have to kind of watch the uh, gauges to make sure everything looks good since it's a very big mower for a small uh, compact tractor but I can't wait to release this tractor coming this summer we'll get this backed on here we are doing this because the majority of the tractor weight will be right over the wheels of the trailer and that will be better than having all the tractor weight on the tongue even though it's a small tractor it is pretty heavy and that looks good there. It's a very long one and we do have to leave room there for the clearance of the ramps to close. If you do have any cool ideas here for me, please let me know down below here in the comments. I have been really enjoying the landscaping series so far in FS19. We've done so many different jobs and projects and I can't wait to continue them on this uh, great uh, map. And it's a very nice American map as well, which is awesome. I do like all the detail in all the mods coming out lately, which is great. They've been getting better and better, which is always uh, great to see the improvement. And I'd like to thank all the modders for the hard work with releasing mods. We'll be making this right hand turn. It's going to be a bit tricky with the uh, light post there, but it's kind of off the roadway as well, so it's helpful there. One awesome stuff. Now I am going to be looking into getting a little bit shorter deck over wheels trailer, which this is. It's just a bit too long for our everyday ones. Maybe like just the John Deere, but I really do like the looks of it. And the commercial property is coming up here in the distance to the right.
If you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you subscribe here to the channel. We've been growing pretty fast recently and I do uh, thank each and every one of you for it. It's awesome to be continuing to grow here and you guys enjoying all of the videos. And I do spend quite a lot of time reading and answering the majority of the comments as well, which is great. Let's get this uh, going here with the bat wing mower. I think we'll kind of start towards the gravel side and then we'll kind of work our way around. Now I did feature this mower here in a review if you guys would like to check it out. We're going to drop down here. Now this will drop grass and that's okay. I mean it is a foot tall so it's pretty realistic for it to do that. We did do some brush hog mowing with the Bobcat and also the Kubota if you guys would like to check that out. And then we did some mowing with the John Deere 1025R. We've done so many different types of mowing. It's nice to get to some big wing mowing like this. We'll go right around these bushes. We do want to be careful trying to not go too close to the material that could damage our blades that would not be a good thing. I've really been enjoying FS19 so far, there's quite a lot of mods coming out, so many good maps and there's so many new things we could do especially with our homeowner series and I really do uh, thank all of you guys for the support on that series. It was a pretty cool series that kind of created towards the end of FS17 and uh, we brought it into 19 and are continuing it in both games so it's kind of nice but just take a look at this. This Kubota tractor I cannot wait for, we have a backhoe attack attachment for the back, a front loader, detachable attachment, a mower deck, turf wheels. There will be three different versions of this Kubota that will be released, so that's going to be nice. And I do have to get the steering wheel to work along with quite a lot of gauges. Going to be a tight turn there trying to avoid the sign. We are only have to do a few passes uh, back and forth around it and that's pretty much it here for this property. It's not too much mowing, it's just enough to keep the grass uh, low. I really do like bat wing mowing as well. It's quite uh, more efficient than just regular mowing. And uh, these jobs go by uh, quite a lot faster as well since they are more than likely uh, projects like this that do require some sort of mowing. But uh, having this big wide pass is really helpful as well. You guys can see they do have greenhouses here. So they must sell, looks like, tomato plants and different things like that. So it's great to see. And uh, that's awesome. There is quite a lot more real life videos coming here to the channel. I've been doing some snow blowing videos. There will be some other videos that you guys have requested as well. And then coming this spring we'll do quite a lot of spring cleanups. That should be uh, very nice. Should be able to go around the sign but quite not the best turning radius including having a three point hitch. It kind of is not that helpful there but it still works. Now the property line is actually going to be this last pass here, so we can't do too much over here. A little bit on the other side, we'll get loaded up and we'll head back to the shop. Trying to get as close as I can here to some of the different uh, trees, uh, bushes, and buildings. Yeah, back here could uh, do a few extra passes, so we'll do that. 
This is actually going pretty fast though, especially with a smaller horsepower tractor like the Kubota. I do have some more FS17 videos to come here on the channel. I've been getting quite a lot of requests to do more of them and I will definitely be doing quite a lot more with different things that we don't do here in FS19 yet. I'm currently doing the property line and then we'll loop around and do these little areas. Go around the sign, try to do here. I really do like first person view though. And we have to go on the other side of the sign. That's okay, though. Sign is in a pretty tricky area for uh, kind of getting around it with a mower. This does have a very nice looking uh, mow to it. Once it is mowed, even when it does drop the grass, it still looks very nice. Now we do have to come back here with a weed eater to kind of help clean up a little bit around some of the trees and things like that. And hopefully we can get a working weed eater here in the game very soon. That would be awesome. Just doing an extra pass over here, trying to go as wide as we can. And a little bit over here needs a little bit of work as well. I'm also looking into adding some new games here to the channel, so if you do have any cool ideas, please let me know down below here in the comments. I am working on uh, some GTA 5 videos as well. I do uh, get quite a lot of comments lately for the Homeowner series. Yes, we will be doing some Homeowner series with the GTA 5 series, and I cannot wait for that. We'll do this last patch here. And you guys can actually see that we already have the controls built in for the front loader attachment as well. I could potentially have it set to like the default uh, front loader attachment. I think I might do that, but I would prefer to have like the Kubota attachment that is unique to the tractor. I think that would be a little bit better. Let me know your feedback, guys. Would you guys like the standard one? That way you could potentially change the color of it, or would you like the Kubota one? I'm trying to go around the sign. It's a bit tricky with a mower this big, and the turning radius seems to not be that good today. And we are on the final pass here for today's mowing, which isn't that bad. I mean, pretty efficient day, doing quite a lot of land. And uh, having a bat mowing mower is definitely more efficient than like a small attachment we could have put, or even like the mower deck for this. And, and it is a little bit better for taller grass like this. We'll get it backed onto the trailer and we'll head back to the shop. We have done quite a lot of shop upgrades here for this series, and now we'll just put everything to work here for quite a long time before we do any new upgrades, unless there is some equipment we just have to have. We won't really be doing any new upgrades. I do get quite a lot of comments about those upgrades, and I do uh, quite a lot of them, but they are definitely necessary for the series. And this is slotting. You guys can see it's scraping on us, and there we go. We fixed it there. It's so perfect. Get it backed on, and that looks to be good. 
I will be heading back over to the shop here with the 06 and the Kubota. I thank you all for watching today's Batwing mowing video here on the Clover Creek map with the landscaping series. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.